Suffering must serve for conversion. That's another reason why people don't want to suffer. Because conversion means to change, to turn away from life according to the flesh towards life according to the spirit. This is an ongoing, non-stop, 24-7 battle. But God is bigger than the battle, and the battle is the Lord, so we got to surrender and trust in Him. And then, that's how it all works. The Holy Father puts it like this. Suffering must serve con for conversion, that is, for the rebuilding of goodness in the subject, that's in you and in me, in the person who can recognize the divine mercy in this call to repentance. The purpose of penance is to overcome evil, which under different forms lies dormant in man. So in other words, it's snoozing, it's taking a nap, it's just waiting for the certain provocation by the things that you watch on TV. Maybe the things that you're checking out on your computer, the things that's running through your brain, the thing that's running through your limbs, through your body, through your nervous system, that's going through the, the culture, through the air that we breathe, in the vibe of the city where you live, even if you live out in the boondocks, even if you live out in a beautiful place, you don't have to live in New York or in any other big city. You can live in a small city, you can live in a village, you can live on the top of a mountain, don't matter. Everybody got to suffer. But, Suffering must serve for conversion. And the purpose of penance is to overcome evil, the Holy Father says, which under different forms lies dormant in man. Its purpose is also to strengthen goodness both in man himself and in his relationship with others and especially with God. Coming up with number three. Love is the ultimate source of the meaning of suffering. That's what the Holy Father says. It's love. Because without love, and now the big question is, the reason why we're struggling so much as a culture to find value and meaning in suffering, and if love is the ultimate source of the meaning of suffering, and if you don't got no love, and you got no source to help you deal with suffering, but even worse than that, if you don't know what love is, or if you're coming, that's why I got love that song. You don't know what love is until you've learned the meaning of the blues. To suffer loss with freedom as good news. You don't know what love is. The mystery of suffering is far as from the east is from the west. When love takes hold, your heart will never rest. You don't know what love is. I don't want to finish that right now, but. It's true. And a lot of times people think, well, I don't know. Love is this, love is that. This is not a talk on love, on love, you know. But yet, at the same time, it's a talk on love. You know, because love is the ultimate source of the meaning of suffering. The Holy Father puts it like this. In order to perceive the true answer of the why of suffering, we must look to the revelation of divine love the ultimate source of the meaning of everything that exists. Love is also the richest source of the meaning of suffering, which always remains a mystery. And that's something that we're not going to take in the modern culture. We're not going to take it. We don't want to hear that. We can't cope with that. We're not approving of that. You know why? Holy Father, quoting Gabriel Marcel, says that modern rationalism will not tolerate mystery and modern rationalism is this kind of understanding it's a kind of mentality it's a kind of attitude if I don't understand it if I can't understand it I ain't getting near it sort of like if I can't manipulate it fax it email it save it cut it paste it you know if I can't fax it Send it as a voicemail, resend it. You know, if I can't burn it on my DVD or put it on my CD or my mini disc, you know, if I can't back it up onto my hard drive or put it into my gigabyte, then I don't want to get near it. You know, now there's nothing that's something wrong. We, these cameras wouldn't work without gigabytes and hard drives. You know, I wouldn't be able to work on, my, on this DVD that y'all hopefully checking out. Well, you definitely bought it if you're watching this or somebody gave it to you. But we couldn't do that without that. But that's not the point, you know? That's not the point. The point is, is that there's an attitude in the culture that's a bad one, one of many. 
and that we will not tolerate mystery. And the Holy Father is telling us, love, divine love, as the richest source of the meaning of suffering, always remains a mystery. Now, this ain't some cop-out. Well, Father Stan, I really don't understand why I'm suffering. I say, oh, it's a mystery, my son. Don't, you know, don't. don't, don't. That's not a cop-out. You know, it's not some mystery. It's just to, to try to, to deal with what we can't explain. But it gives meaning and power for transcendence of the pain. And that rhymes. And I might get into a little flow here, but I don't want to because this will go a lot longer than we planned it to. Maybe it's supposed to go that long. I don't know. But it's true. It's true. You know. And it's, it's the power of that love. And it's not just that we can't understand it. But the power of this love gives us the ability to stand under the reality of this love that is God. That you and I are part of and called to become ever more one with and to take it out everywhere we go with everything that we do to everything who we are and who God wants us to become. The Holy Father says, love is the richest source of the meaning of suffering which always remains a mystery. We are conscious of the insufficiency and inadequacy of our, inadequacy of our explanations. He's not copping out. He's saying, I know that the explanations are insufficient and they're inadequate. In other words, they don't work. So he said, well, why? Well, here's why. There's not enough, never a good enough reason why, especially when so many people are suffering and dying and all that. What's a, what's a good reason going to do? Good reason, just going to be a good reason. But if we let that love have its way with us, then we have the possibility to be transformed and changed. Christ, the Holy Father says, causes us to enter into the mystery and to discover the why of suffering as far as we are capable of grasping the sublimity of divine love. So how far you want to go? You know, when suffering says, well, why? You really want to know why? If you really want to have a sense of the, what, what that means, you know, instead of saying like, why? Well, what does this mean? What is the meaning of this? See and ask yourself how far you're willing. I got to see and ask myself how far I'm willing. We got to see and we got to ask ourselves how far are we willing to go on the all the way road of divine love. What does that mean? Go pray and find out. But if you make that surrender and you say, all right, I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this. But I'm willing to go. It's like when Jesus said, Father, not my will, that will be done. Let's go. Let's get on with this. My heart is ready. Is yours? Is mine? This is the question.